Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make hot Italian sliders. We got a baking dish, and I brushed it with some melted butter on the bottom and the sides. And then I took a pack of the King's Hawaiian original rolls and sliced them in half. And then there's the bottom, and here's the tops. We'll use the tops in a minute. So you put all your bottoms into your baking dish. Now we're going to take a little bit of store-bought creamy Italian salad dressing. Brush on the bottom of each roll. Don't put a lot because you don't want them real soggy. Just give them a little bit of Italian flavor. And if you don't like this step, then skip it. You don't have to put this on the bottom. Now we're going to take some ham, and I'm using black forest ham. You can use any kind of ham. And we're just going to take a slice, fold it, so it'll fit on each slider roll. Okay, I'll come back when I got all the ham down, and then we'll come with the next meat. Okay, next we're going to come with some salami, and I'm going to fold it in half and lay it across the ham. I'm going to keep going till i got salami on each one, and I'll come back and show you the other piece of meat we're going to put on top. Alright, next we're going to put a slice of pepperoni, and I'm going to fold it in half, too. We're going to put on each roll. Now, these were the big slices of salami and pepperoni amusement. If you can only get the little, smaller slices, then use about two pieces on each roll. I'm going to keep continuing until I get all the pepperoni on. Next, we're going to put a little bit of chopped up roasted bell pepper. And I kind of drained them from their juice and like oil that they're in. This is totally optional. If you don't like this, then leave it out. Each one gets a little bit of these roasted red bell peppers. Next, we're going to put up a little bit of chopped jardinera. This is an Italian mix jardinera. You can get the mild or the hot. And what it is is just pickled cauliflower, carrots, peppers, and cucumbers. I think there was a little bit of roasted red bell pepper in here too, and a little bit of onion, and I think celery. Okay, now we're going to come in with our cheese, and we're using provolone. And I'm just going to tear the pieces in half. And each one gets a whole piece of cheese on it. I'm just doing like a crisscross so they'll fit on that better. And this cheese, when it melts, will help hold your peppers and all your jardinera. I mean, if you don't want to do the jardinera and do maybe some bell peppers or porcini peppers, you can. I'll come back when I get everybody gets a slice of cheese. All right, now we're going to put our tops back on to our buns. I'm going to take a little bit of that Italian dressing and put a little bit on each one. Remember, don't make them soften. Now we're going to come with two tablespoons of melted butter with a teaspoon of some dried Italian seasoning in here. And we're going to brush on the top of each roll a little bit of this. Now we're going to come with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle over each top a little bit. So we're probably using about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Then I'm going to cover it with some aluminum foil. And I'm using the non-stick aluminum foil. I love this stuff. So my non-stick side down to the roll. Into the oven, 350 degrees, preheated. Go 10 minutes with the foil on, take the foil off, and 10 minutes with the foil off. Red pot Italian sliders just came out of the oven. I'll let them sit for about a good seven to ten minutes before I pull one out. So there you have it. Hot Italian sliders my way. Look how ooey gooey the cheese is. 